Hello and welcome back to episode 6, maybe, of Under Construction. I am your host, Ellis, otherwise known as Train Man. And today, I'm not sure what we're going to work on, but we'll find out. I know what we aren't working on, actually. I might as well break into that right away. So, there are more trees than there were before. My render distance is still down to 2.5 kilometers, so we're not rendering the whole forest. But if I turn it up to 8k, it will render out to there, which is a lot. Uh, so, I added a little bit around here, but obviously it's in chunks because I didn't want to put stuff right next to this. I don't want to at all play with the forest while I'm recording. I Like I've said, I haven't had a crash uh, while recording yet, but I don't want to tempt fate. So what we're going to work on is this logging camp here, and then maybe we'll go back to town and work on some stuff. Now, the first thing I want is actually a... Uh, I want the forestry. Like, the the old-school trains forestry. Like, it doesn't... That's loud. And I placed two of them by accident. I know it doesn't necessarily look right. Because it's a very dated... Oh, shut up. It is, it is very dated in terms of, well, in terms of a lot of things, really. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Oh, don't roll it. Uh, is that aligned? Yeah, there you go. But it is sort of the go-to industry. I'm going to have some of these around. The only default industry I might not include, like, that I might replace with something else. What does that smell? Oh, they're, they're laying down asphalt outside. Awesome. That's what that smell is. Uh, anyways. The only industry that I might refuse to use in its current state and instead use, uh, sort of... Is this straight or not? Oh, whoops. And instead, make my own version of is the oil refinery. And I was looking at the map and thinking about how certain things work. Actually, does the basic not have the trees? Because... It has... Mm, meh. Alright, I'll leave it like this. doesn't matter. Uh, this place is going to be covered in stumps anyways. Like this whole area. So this is a sort of long, slow ascent. And I am going to do this. This is something I was planning on doing. Uh, there we go. Now everything's got ground up to it. And we're going to have to do a little bit of ground editing to get that in a decent location. This area is fine, though. Okay. Uh, also, I'm tempted to add a little uh, sort of abandoned two-foot railway that winds in that direction towards the lake. But maybe not, maybe not today, maybe not right now. Anyways, the other thing, so I attached that. I'm not really sure what else I want to do with it. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get that detailed, but I might go over it again when, uh, sort of when I'm, whoops, that's too much. When I'm working on, uh, oh wow, that's way too much. Too much sensitive. I might go over it again when I'm working on uh, other stuff. And by other stuff, I mean when I'm just there building the forest. What level is the water here? Something I've learned is rivers are not that deep. That's something that I picked up after a while. 9.94. So I might actually raise this and create like a little natural dam here. Uh, yeah. Alright, so, oh, whoops, did I just raise all of this connected water? Yeah, I did. I did not mean to do that. Uh, okay. Let's, let's disconnect this water temporarily. 
Just bring it back to, like, there. Actually, how far do I want to have this up to? There we go. 2.34. Now we've got a little bit of a wider river here. Okay, and I want to attach regular level water here. There we go. Okay, let's lower this out now. So we built sort of a natural dam there. Also, I did, uh, I went and got some bridges off the DLS and put some bridges in place where we needed them over this river, which we don't have a name for this river. What's another, like, uh, I mean, you have a great vine. What do olives come by? Do the olives grow on a vine, or do they grow on trees, or what? I don't know. I'm not knowledgeable on olives. Somebody that's good with olives, please answer in the comments or something. Oh, speaking of which, I forgot. That's something I need to do. I need to go read the comments from the previous video. We'll do that at halftime. I'll, I'll make that sort of a tradition. That's something we're going to do. We're going to do that at halftime every time. Let's uh, lower this a little bit. Let's actually let's actually put a kink in the river here. Yeah, let's narrow that up and then let's do that. That isn't quite what I wanted to do. Let's lower this. We've got a little bit more there. Put this, and then attach this. And then lower this. The problem is just to try and keep the river width more consistent. That's right, a little bit more rivery. Although maybe I should tear down this a little bit and connect that. Up like that. I'm trying to I'm trying to river it up. Realism, guys, realism. It's the thing that I I try to tout and ultimately fail at, but you know what? It's the thought that counts, right? It is, you know. Okay, so. As for this area, like this gets pretty straight over there. This, I would presume, loops around like that, but we're not going to be putting tiles here, so it doesn't matter. Uh, this area, this has got to start going up. This has already started going up. This has to remain flat, and then intersect with that. Yeah, that's connected, that's connected. I'm not, Once that meets with that, there's going to be another interlocking over there, but I'm not going to worry about it yet. Also, I found the soccer field. I think we should use it. I did a little bit of a modification of the road network. I ran this road through here, and the other step was to get rid of this. So, get rid of that. I wanted that corner. Or I do want that corner, because I'm going to connect it again right here. And I grabbed the wrong thing. Yeah, for cardinal directions. Yeah, the thing, I know I've talked about it before, but the thing with all of it is it's like, it was, it was really a nothing town, and then sort of the Gilson Eastern came through. Like, the Gilson Eastern mainline is relatively new, comparatively. So it was, it was a helper town, but there wasn't much going on. What did I put here? Lifeguard chair? Oh yeah, beach chair. That's right. There wasn't anything going on until the Gilson Eastern came through and set up this whole thing and built the olive branch. Speaking of which, I have to build the helper roundhouse, which is going to go right over here. Oh, it's going to go over here. Yeah, I need to build the helper roundhouse. I'm thinking... Okay, so I made a locomotive roster for everything, and I think that everything... Uh, I'm 
for all four railroads, and it's going to be expanded and worked on, but I've got uh, a friend, and possibly more than one friend, as a matter of fact, working on reskinning stuff for me. So I could have reskins for the entirety of the Tollbrain Peninsula, which is going to be awesome. And those are going to be on the DLS, of course. Uh, right now we're having some trouble getting one on the DLS. Because it needs to have its version changed, something like that. Alright, this... This road is probably going to dead end. I'm going to have it dead end. And this is going to... This, is, this should just stay on on a bank run. I don't know, actually. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I'm going to have Smith Hill. And that's sort of something that I stole from Providence. But... I have an idea. And it's going to be, you know, raise this area up. Obviously, we already have some sort of height on this side. So, let's bring this oh, too, too slow. Too slow. Bring this up to here. And then bring this around here, and uh, we'll put some sort of valuable thing on top of this hill. Maybe like the town hall or something? But I'm tempted to run a tunnel through the hill. Now, here's the thing. I don't know how these tunnel entrances work. At all. So. Like, because we have the ones that you just sort of attach. Well, let's build this this way. Uh, okay. Hide up this. I've got to build, like, a college in one of these towns. That'll be something. I wonder if there's, like, a college asset. <laughs> Alright, so that's, that's, uh, Smith Hill. And the problem is the track's got to go through Smith Hill. Not over it, that's for sure. That just isn't going to happen. And so, flatten that out. Flatten that out. Yeah, let's uh, restore the ground around the tracks to sensible lookingness. And, you know what? We might want to use these retaining walls that we used over here. Oh. Game. Or something similar to them. So, let's... Grab... Oh, wait, no, yeah, no, I do want this. Grab these retaining walls. Well, that's not that helpful because we need something to go on top of it, so... So, yeah, this, uh, this is going to be useful... Smith Hill. Because we're going to run this through here. How about, uh, let's sort these. Tunnel. AJS dig hole. Whoa. Not what I wanted to do. Neo tunnel entrance. Neo tunnel. MS Tunnel 7E? No, that's not it. 8W. Not these. Tunnel Portal Darkstone 2 track. Well, that's not helpful either. I, I'm sure you have to use them with something. Except for this. This I might be able to get away with. It is UK. So. The question is, can I actually fit stuff through it? But I might be able to get away with it. Hold on. Let's uh, let's just attach 
What the hell? Oh. Oh! Oh, no, that's not great. Oh, it's a... Oh. No, apparently I can attach tunnels to it, though, and that'll... Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, tunnel stone? Can I'll attach? Yeah, no, that's not great. Uh... Tunnel track. Alright, so we've got third rail in the tunnel. We don't actually have tunnel, though. WL tunnel. That doesn't work. Tunnel one track. I need to be able to attach to it. Okay. Track tunnel. Now, I've got to have. I've got to have some sort of tunnel stuff. Not that. You need the stuff without the ends. So I don't know how they do this. Hmm. You know what, actually, I can get away with having this be a two-track tunnel. But the issue is, the, the entrances are going to want to be at right angles. I don't know what to do with this. This is getting there. What is this called? UK Tunnel Track 1 Stone. I'm track Dark Stone Walls. What if I just grab this, attach it? Do I have to attach like a tunnel spline at the same time? I can't attach something to the middle, but I can attach one to both ends. How about, yeah, is there a tunnel spline that I attach? Tunnel. Oh, tunnel one track stone black walls. I guess there is. I think that attached. Did that attached right? Oops. Hey, oh, god damn it. I want to get rid of it. Funnel ones, track stone, hitch. So those are different kinds of spline points. And then if I attach track, okay, that actually works. I understand how these tunnels work now. The only test is, so let's grab the height of the hill, just for a test. Let's make the radius much smaller. Okay, see, that's the part I don't get. How it doesn't look like a tunnel entrance because it has this giant wall in it. I 
Yeah, whatever. We'll just put the stuff in a deep cut or something. Hold on, get rid of everything. God, we get we tried so many things. Okay. Let me think one more time. Oh yeah, you know, you know what? It has to be in a deep cut because there's another track that runs by here, or there will be, or there should be, I should say. Uh, yeah, and so this has got to connect to that. Or well, actually, it would connect to here, but it's gonna have a connection there instead. So grab this height, put it there, and I grab that, and then grab the map, and we'll try to will this down to a decent, to a decent grade. I think, let's try point at six for now. I mean, this is old stuff, so... Where's the point I have to move? I think I can get away with 1%. Or close to it. Here, let's do it like this. I normally don't trust this, as you guys know, but I'm going to try it. So, straighten that out. Make it look better. 1%. One percent. And it still doesn't quite make it. Well, you know what? That's actually fine. The cut, the Smith Hill cut is, is pretty bad. Uh, okay. And, because I'm going to add, like, a platform here, like the remnants of one. So let's move this a little bit. Uh, let's not do that, whatever we're doing. Oh, right. Uh, let's just flatten this for now. Yeah, I'm going to need to muss these rails up a little bit, because, because they shouldn't exist, I guess. Or, well, they, they should exist. They do exist. The issue is, they should not exist nicely. Right here, well, these, uh, these power lines were put in after. And then we'll put some grass on. We'll grass them the hell up. Let's so put like that. And then, like, grab this. And like that. I might just leave it like this. Yeah, hold on, let me grab the road. Alright. So, right here. And this road should kind of remain flat, so... I don't really want to fiddle with it too much. Oh, that actually works. And then what we can do, actually, what we can do is grab this bridge, string it across here, and there we go. 
But I'm not using the retaining walls when I might... Eh, maybe I should, maybe I should. I might want to. But I don't know what's going to be over here first. I'll, I'll keep the retaining walls in my mind as a provision to make the area a little bit more urbanized. But I wasn't really planning on making it that urbanized. Like I said, I might put like a capital building up here. You know, just not even like capital Tolbrin, but just uh, for for reasons. Yeah, this this track is okay because it's used to serve the industrial district. This, uh, you know what, I need a platform spline. Platform wall. Trackside platform. That is a little bit big. New platform canopy, passenger platform. No, you know what, here's what I'll do. And then I'm going to lower this, like, into the ground. Grab that. Grab that. It's still a little bit high, but what I'll do is I'll send another one to the other direction. Whoa, not like that, though. Because I think these guys sort of slope down towards the back. I grab that, that, if I can, whatever height that is. Use it on this. Oh, we've got some nice Z fighting. Exactly what I wanted. Okay, let's raise. Let's move this. I mean, we've got to line them up, anyways. The easiest way to correct Z-fighting is to change something's elevation by just a minute amount. And it doesn't even have to be both ends. There you go, Z-fighting fixed. Except for down here. There, fixed. Can we get, like, a passenger car to stick here? Uh, let's see. Because this will be part of the map. It's not going to leave. Uh, let's get... Coach. Can we get one of these old ones? Oh, why are my trains not showing up again? Come on, guys. Show up. You know you want it. Alright, whatever. Don't show up then. Wait. Game's doing weird things. Alright, never mind. No no trains for me. Whatever. I'll keep that open in case they show up later. But anyways. Yeah, so that's that. We made Smith Hill. We have the cuts through Smith Hill. This was, we want to put a station in the center of town. Well, center of town kind of moved. And as it stands, that it didn't really give you much. I could put like a parking lot over here or something. No, I don't want to answer that. Next to the building that isn't loading in. There, there it goes. There's your building. Yeah, Tane is working really hard to load in all the trains I have. That's what's ha that's what's going on right now. Okay. Anyways, we're a quarter of the way through the video already. I don't want track. I want buildings. I do need. I need to connect. This, how's my dedicated WAM doing? Not great. That's what. 
That's also a problem. Right, everything seems to be doing okay still. Alright, so grab this. Oh, whoops, I don't want track. I want this. This. I guess I'll take this. Oh, here's the issue, though. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Wait. No, yeah, no, those, these intersections are a thing. I'll use one of those. Actually, I don't know if I want to... Now, I'll put some building over here and not have this extend all the way. I'll just have this go to, like, whoops. I'll just have this go to, like, here. This, uh, post office? It's a police station. That's another reason to put a parking lot there. Okay, so... We were talking about this. This would have continued. And... I'll build it as if it did. When the area got rebuilt, these tracks were totally severed. But they still exist because nobody pulled them up. Straighten this. This over here. Okay, so we're gonna again build these as if they never got torn up, but they really don't have a reason to exist now. We're gonna start moving them together because they would have merged and gone on with this bridge here. At the very least, we'll come up with something else uh, in order to show that there was a corridor here. But for now, I'm going to leave it like that. And, and maybe we'll sort of tear up the rails and replace it with uh, like a strip of trees in a back there or something. I'll, ha I'll have to draw from some some rusty rails near me. Maybe a maintenance path because I know that's what some of that's what an extra part of the Y near Selkirk Yard got turned into, and I drive down that to get into the yard. So you know it it was the site of a railroad, but now it's just uh, now it's just a, a pass through for. Maintenance of way trucks and stuff, employees, and foamers. Okay, this needs to be adjusted slightly. Because this is 1.12 and 1.16% respectively. That's 0.93 now. Ah, uh, whatever, sure, that levels out. Levels out just a little bit. Oh, whoops, let's uh, do that real quick. Actually, let's move the spline point to there so that we get the curve to be a little bit smoother. Not that it really matters that much, but now I have to adjust this again. Let's do it like this again. Oh, is this straightened? Nope. Didn't think so. Ugh. 
There's going to be some, like, sync and changes over time to this railroad, or to the, to the general state of the rails. Is this straightened? No. Yeah, whatever, I'll leave that how it was. Not a big deal. Uh, yeah, so I was doing this. Fix that, and then fix that. And fix that. Alright, that's fine, leave that as is. Uh, I should at least build out sort of what the embankment looked like for these guys. That doesn't seem right, though. There we go. Because, obviously, they would have some grading underneath them, even if that got altered over the years. Alright, so let's continue the high-tension wires this way. Oh, sugar. I... What? The hell? Oh. God damn it. We had a gradient on it. Yeah, no, remove... Remove gradient. Yeah, remove this gradient. And now I'm going to continue this across the way here. Remove gradient. I don't suppose that's going to stop until we get rid of the other thing. So now we have this connection, and this is sort of a, uh... Yeah, alright, hold on. Uh... Limit of shunt sign. That's what I need. I need a yard limit sign. No, I don't need the dwarf super symbols. Yard limit. Where'd it go? Yard limit. Hey, you know what? Hold on. Let's uh, let's be, let's be accurate here. Yard. Lim oh no, no, no. Yeah. Yard. Hmm. I wonder if we have. I would like some PRR ones. So I'll have to go get one later. There we go, our tangle is, is complete. Now, uh, keep in mind that this was the original one. And so it proceeded through here. And then went out this way or something. Past here, all remnants of this railroad are destroyed. Or this was a terminal. Which, make, which could make sense, I guess. Oh yeah, I was going to put a coach down. Has it loaded this line? This, yes. Yes, it has. Coach. Not that. Uh, no, that's not great. Although, this is cool looking. This is from the... I think it might be from the S1B set. k l trains. I see... Illinois Central. No, I think having a streamliner there would be way too new. How about... EFT-17? No. And it's not going to be any any of this K&L stuff. D-1. 
Gail and W. See no Trump's watch. No, that's a little bit old. Blue Comet. Green Gorge. That's a little bit small. It's obviously not going to be the MBTA stuff. I'm not going to put any of those things in there. That would be a little bit far from home. But I might put it here just for kicks. I wonder if we had, could get a wooden coach, like a B and M, like a B and M coach, CPR coach. That's a little bit more. That's a little bit closer to what I was thinking. You know, it's it's clearly old, although it's the model is crap. All right, I'll I'll continue thinking on it. That's what I'll do, and then I do need a. A thingy at the end of this, like US bumper dark rusty. I have to make this track in here really crap. Uh do we have a derailleur? Derail. Oh wait, those are... never mind. Oh, you know what? I can use these. Hold on. Although they are the wrong width. Damn it. Distant plate? Uh, UK lever? What is this? Oh, whoops. it's a trackside thing, obviously. Now, uh, dragon... no, I don't want a defect detector. Uh, I need derail. I don't have a derailleur. Oh well. Never mind then. Alright, let's connect this road. Oh, that's not great. I accidentally covered this. I didn't mean to do that. There. Hmm. I do need to think, though. I need to think about a lot of stuff, but I should really just go with what I know. Unfortunately, that just means the project gets larger and larger and more and more out of hand. Uh, because all I know is how to make things bigger. Trust me, Madison loves it. Uh, okay, hold on. Get rid of that, because that's being annoying. I I have the feeling that is that is the reason for our woes right now. No, it's not. Okay, why can't I just get rid of... Oh, you know what? It's because I have to do that. Right? Now it'll work? Yes! Okay. Who would have thought Titan Gradient Zero would get rid of all the gradient? Like, all of the, the desire to create gradient. Not just the gradient itself. I figure Titan Gradient Zero would mean that you get a flat piece of road. That, that makes more sense to me. I feel like the tool would be more useful that way, but apparently that's not what you do. That's not how this works. There. Okay, I need an intersection. I need... Interse oh, you know what? I need this intersection. Wink. Wink. 
Make it nice, 270 degrees, aligned with north, south, east. Well, actually, it's not aligned with south, it's aligned with north, east, and west. Okay. You know, it's funny that... I, I find it funny that I live on the east coast, primarily, most of the time, and yet, instinctually, when I'm building trains maps, I put the ocean to the west. I mean, is it my inner Californian talking, or... I don't know. Maybe it's my inner European. Alright, so... We do need to sort of flatten this out. Now, I think I can just leave this as is. It's not really a big deal. Like that. Uh, fix that real quick. And then this will just come over here and go up that way. Let's grab that, make that it. Oh, I missed. How far off is it? Alright, right there. Yeah, again, we might level this off and put, like, a, an important-looking building up there. Or something else. I don't know. We did get a lot done by placing these storefronts, though. Now, the, the commercial district looks a little bit more filled out. I do need to do a lot of the fiddling bits, but I think we should return to our favorite pastime, which is building this... Building this nice little town. So anyways, we've got these guys in the corner here. They don't have anything. Uh, I'm not sure where I should start. Probably just this strip, because once that's done, what I can do is I can grab... I can grab this color. Where is it? The color that I'm using on the side of embankments. And I'm probably going to use it in a lot of places. Uh, or, uh, yeah, just just primarily for the side of embankments, but a lot of places on the sides of embankments. I don't think I'm going to be getting another embankment side color anytime soon. The other thing... Uh, so, this is the first tedium that I have to do, which is building the town. The other tedium that I've sort of sentenced myself to, but I've, I've spared the lives of many a computer that's going to download this map in the future, uh, is that... The grass over in oh you know what Oops, need this the grass over in the forest area is only near the track. It was something that I was contemplating not doing. I was contemplating making the entire ground cover there uh, grass blinds on top of already it being full of speed trees. So that would have doomed someone for sure. Possibly me. I, I'm at crash count equals ten, maybe, right now. For the uh, for for that forest, yeah, it's definitely ten. The forest of death over there, and yeah, it's uh, it's really something. Yeah, I think I'm going to make these guys have, like, a double-wide booty, and then merge it. Merge it for the sake... Alright, so connect this to that. Straighten this. Connect this to this. So we do have some Z-fighting, that's not great. But I need a two-car garage. Uh, where, who has a two-car garage? You have a garage. Garage two-car. Wow, not that one. Just not that one. 
That doesn't match their house. That doesn't either. Yellow one? Oh, that's green. How about number four? That's better. I still don't know why it is a green green roof. It's a leprechaun house. But... Alright, so... Attach that to that, and then we'll add another little one in the middle. Yeah, so, like, so... And we'll have to do a little bit of toying with the elevations to fix the Z-fighting. But, for now, let's lower these all to the proper elevation to get into the garage and not float weirdly. So that one's doing it. Uh, let's let's change this, and then that, and I think that's it. Seems to be doing fine now. All right, yeah. There's our there's our two car garage with the big driveway. Let's uh put some grass under this. Double wide would be. Alright, so these guys aren't gonna have any trees in there. Oh, well, actually, they'll have trees back here. You know what? I should combine two things. I'm gonna combine the hedgerow and the trees. Um, we'll see how that looks. Uh, you know what? Also, though, I do want a walkway just from here to sort of break up the monotony of that yard. These are way too wide. Do we have just, like, a sidewalk? And I'm not worry about it if I find an asset like that. Okay, so we have driveways. What is this? How, how wide is this? That's not that wide. That's not that much of a driveway. But let's grab some grass. Ah, uh, that did not grab it. I accidentally selected grab height. I'm going to say, how did I miss that? Oh, I didn't miss. I misclicked. Although I suppose that's, in a sense, the same thing. Right, so we've got some grass there. That breaks it up a little bit. Uh, let's put some sort of dead grass in front, just to indicate people walking around. Turn down the radius way down. That is pretty well placed, I'll be honest. Uh, and then let's grab this, turn the radius back up so we can finish... That's too much. Finish the area around this house. And in a few minutes I'll go to the comments of the video. Okay. So... Here we go. Here's the spot. Let's just fill in those two spots. Whatever, we'll get to that house in a second. What am I currently using under the road? Just dirt. Which is going to conflict a little bit with the stuff that I'm using under the railroad tracks, but we'll work that out. Uh, the railroad track stuff will supersede, obviously, because the railroad track sort of rests on ballast and roads just sort of rest on whatever. Not to say that there isn't a, like, oh, it's the same, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Whoops. Oh, well. I have to say that there isn't a very important and complex system of layers that goes into place underneath a highway, but for the most part, it's not something you generally look at or care about or even are aware that it exists. When you look down at a railroad track, you see ballast. Now, 
Okay, is there a garage attached to this one? Yeah, there is actually. So I don't. So I already know where the driveway is going to be on that. Uh, let's grab the hedgerow. String it from here to here. And let's grab some trees to put in the hedgerow. And I do mean in the hedgerow. So watch. Boink. That does not look half bad. Alright. Let's grab another kind of tree. A red mangrove. You want a mangrove tree? It's gonna look weird. Okay, I'll pass on that. That looks like that that looks like something out of a horror film. Tree single oak. Boink. There we go. I like it. Okay, uh pine high. Oh, that's like the other things. And it's kinda see through. Tree not do any willows or the poplars or these guys, whatever they are. Uh, tree mountain maple. Now let's just stick another one at the end here. The river birch is closest to the road. And then let's add some grass around the hedge, just for the sake of it. And I grab the fence, po fence post. I want the shrubs. What's up, shrub? Get wrecked, shrub. And it doesn't look great, but... I'll leave it. Whatever. I think this guy deserves a shed in his yard. Also, I'm gonna use this dirt paint underneath the overpass here. That's not dirt. There is, there is shade. Behold. Uh, and I do have to get it to the other side and out the other side, and then I'll worry about the... I'll worry about the railroad bell as later. Right, and this, like I said, this is a construction site. I'm going to have to put some stuff around here to indicate that. Okay, so there we go. We've got another bit. We've sort of started making headway on this. So we have more than we have more than two blocks. Not much more than two blocks, but we do have more than two blocks. Uh, you know, once once we really put our effort into this, this is going to be the last and largest hurdle. I feel like for all of you know the forest and everything. The the forest is generally pretty generic, and everything around it is, uh, or you know, not everything around it, but the things inside it are small. And although they might have a lot of detail, they don't take that long. And additionally, it's the kind of thing where you uh, you sort of are inclined to work on it. Uh, or, you know, it's something that I can do in an episode, so I don't get, I guess, I guess discouraged, really. That I don't, you know, start thinking about, meh, never mind. Okay, so anyways. Here are our comments. Uh, not much, actually. Not, not too much for me to go through. So the first one is Rest in Peace Block C. Thank you, TBA. Or it's hashtag Rest in Peace Block C. And he also says, if you typed in Playground, there are a few options to go in that park. So let's look at that right now. Play. Ah, I see. So we have... Oh, okay. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, let's just add this in the middle. I'm keeping the boat, though. Let's see. Well, see, now it's going to crash him into the swings. Uh, let's move the swings. 
Put the merry go around there. Put the swings over in the corner here. Ah, uh, no, the swings are not crashing into the bush. Let's put this in the corner. This over here. Oh, wait, no. This over here so that nothing can get crashed into. And then put the merry go around right here. Right here. Yeah, a little out of the way. Maybe more on the grass there. There we go. Now it's a little better. Also, uh, let's just put these cuties playing checkers here. Why not? Nah, never mind. I'll save that for like an Easter egg somewhere else. I did not put cars in these driveways. I'll get to that. Ah, eh, people have got garages, you know? Put the car in the garage. Hmm. Okay, next one. Uh, the forest looks amazing. I wish you could do texturing like that. Frankly, dude? Okay, okay. What was your name? Uh, zombie Slayer 234 with a with a 1 instead of an I in zombie. Here's the thing with the, the texture of the forest. All I did for this, and I think I did demonstrate this elsewhere. Let me uh, clear this content search. For me. Yeah, so let me let me actually demonstrate this while I'm while I'm thinking about this. So the only thing I did for the texturing in the forest is we have three different grass textures. One of them is this. One of them is this sort of deep deep green we've got going on right here. And yeah. Another one is... Oh, let me grab something that's not that, though. The other one is this. This is sort of the grass texture we've been using most places, I think. And, you know, it's sort of a... It's a lighter green... I guess it means something more grassy, where this would be sort of more mossy. And then there's, you know, a sort of... That's not it. A sort of in-between color. It's sort of a blue-green. I'm not really sure what this would represent, but... Something you don't have to look at too much. And there's our texture. Literally all I did was take three greens and sort of intersperse them at random. And then the forest started out as a very small portion, and then I used the copy-paste tool here. Uh, turn off tracks and turn off height especially. I used the copy-paste tool, and after uh, placing a bunch of trees, which you can do manually or you can do using uh, push pins, which I can demonstrate that later. Uh, and I just copied an area of the forest, and then I just pasted it again and again and again. So there's really nothing too groundbreaking about that. And, you know, you say you wish you could do texturing like that. It's You should just try it. It's not that bad. You just have to pick some colors that go well together. And then keep in mind that even if they don't, like this looks kind of weird. It looks like uh, World War One tank camo or something. You, you're not going to be looking at it. It's going to be smothered underneath thousands of trees that you're mostly going to be looking at from, I mean, either eye level, and therefore you don't care about the way the ground color is too much. Here, let's go into the, uh, let's go into the forest of death. Uh, this is not a good example, because that's the road. Nobody goes down the road. But here, and you look out, and it's not bad, because you've got grass near the track, which covers over the texturing, and then farther away, you can't really tell. You know, here you can tell a little bit better, but even still, it's not really anything... You know, it's not horrible. So even if my stuff was a little bit sketchy, it wouldn't necessarily be a problem. So, I'm going to go back to, uh, you know, making my happy little trees over here. I, I say that, but, like, I, at one point, or I was, you know, half joking, but half, you know, oh man, I wish I could do that. Uh, like, about becoming the Bob Ross of trains routes. You know, I'll sit here for a couple hours with you, and I'll talk, and we'll build, and I'll tell you about how life's going, and things that you can do. Now, 
Oh, you know what? I'll make an expansion to my to my comments there. If you want me to talk about anything in particular while I'm doing this, well, feel free to just leave me a comment and we'll get to it. We'll get right to it. Uh, all right, so I need this. I need this road with one curb, and we're going to be placing it on this side in the direction. Oh, wrong button. Okay, can I attach to this vertex? Yeah, so I want to do that, and I need to get rid of the middle section, and I need to place this road like that. Now that we've done that. Uh, once we straighten out the road, that's not straight. Once we, once we straighten out the road a little bit and get these guys lined up. Now, we should have a feel for the width of driveways now because we've used so many of them. We've made so many of them. But it's okay if we don't. Because all that really matters is once we get this driveway in place, we can just tailor the gap to our needs. Now, it is a little bit wide. It's also not perfectly straight. That's a little bit better. All it needs to do is lead right into the drive, or the garage there. And that's all, and then our problem is solved. So let's lower the height on this. Oh, many. just one notch. There we go. 7.12. There we go, now we have a driveway to this house. This house's area is kind of already done. I'm, I'm okay with the way it looks right now. All right, so this yeah, this family or this house is going to be kind of generic when it comes down to it. Now I'm alternating between uh, I'm alternating between spun and unspun texturing. Now, spun texturing is generally good if you're going to be looking at something close up, and especially, you know, doubly so, if the texture has a defined pattern. A lot of the textures I'm using, even when you zoom out and you have the scale all the way up, they don't have that defined of a pattern. So you can get away with, uh, you can get away with not spinning them to add a little bit more, well, texture. The difference becomes with, uh, with texture the way it is, things are kind of muted. those crashes. You know what else we can do? Also, I believe this is just a regular little thing. I can change... Oh, no, I, can't. I thought I could change the speed limit on this road. No? Okay. I thought I could. Maybe on certain roads you can do that. Oh, sorry. My neck, my neck hurts from being hunched over like that. Oh, so this area is dirt. Next area is going to be grass, because it's somebody's house. By the way, uh, I get this question asked a lot. To spin the textures, you hold either either one of the brackets. Now we do have to build this way. We have to bridge the gap between the residential area we can be working on and the industrial area, which is pretty much done in terms of texturing and buildings and everything else. Uh, the, industrial, the one thing the industrial area doesn't have is power lines. But we can assume for the most part that a lot of those are buried. These buildings want to load in their textures, that'd be great. We also need to make, like, parking lots, so back here would probably be gravel. We're going to actually provide entrances to these areas. And by parking lots, I don't mean parking lots, I just mean sort of areas where people are going to park. No, it's just the parking in back sort of idea. You know, when a, when a town is... When the bunched up area of a town like this is just too closed in. 
it's a, you know, if it's too old, if it predates, you know, if its largest expansion really sort of predates cars being in full force, then you're going to have a lot of places where parking is not part of the deal. And so they use any extra space on property for a par as a parking lot. I'm gonna I'm gonna follow the track with the main ballast here and then just use dirt under the spur. Alright, so here and then so I don't really want to be putting this last because I would rather I'd rather it get overrided by the ballast than for it to override the ballast. Also, I should probably put up a fence in between these two things. I feel like that'd be permanent. But yeah, if you guys want uh, to look at the list then there should be a link in the description for for the link to all of the locomotives and stuff in the Tolbert Peninsula. Also, the very last question, th there were four comments on that, but the other one I already answered. I was, is this part of the Iron Horse and Route or something along those lines? And the answer is no. This is its own project. Uh, if you want to see the extent of it, go watch the first episode. I show off the map. So if I can get these two connected by texture, then that will be good. Not like good for today, like, oh, we're done for today, but like it would be a good thing to have done. You know, and because honestly, I should be doing, oops, I should be doing more on this that before I work on the olive branch line. It's like one, one thing at a time even though it's more like one town or section of mainline at a time. And this is, you know, this is technically the same section. Like, we haven't gone towards either of the other towns. There isn't a little town here or a little town here or anything. Okay. And I do have to put up my grass along the edge here to make this look better. My throat is dry. Okay. So, we're going to continue filling this area in with green. Because this is sort of our base coat, you know? A lot of times I'll do the highlights before the base coat, because in order to get the highlights in the right place, I use the grid. Uh, and people have been like, Ellis, why are you doing that in the past? And the reason is because I like to be able to see the grid when I'm doing the little highlights. And it may take me longer, but then it comes out better. At least I think so. Uh, but down here on the ground, the highlights are not nearly as important, so... I should put some other buildings back here for this guy's house. Um... Also, these guys, I would assume, are fairly friendly. Like, with one another. Because this guy has a walkway out this way, so I'm going to put the driveway by here. Let's grab a driveway. Oh, we already have the driveway. Happy little drive. Happy little driveways. Build it this way. Just overlap the very end of that walkway. And then connect past here. 
like, hey, can we use your driveway? For what? I don't know, walking? So they connected their walkway with their neighbor's driveway. This is a long driveway to back down. That's gotta suck, though. This guy's gonna have a fence. Let's grab a nice picket fence. How about this one? Actually, this is really nice. Although, I don't want to use something from too close, so I'll grab this one down here. Ah, wrong side. Alright, so... We'll just have this guy's yard extend all the way back to the tracks. Because there isn't another road there, I guess it would make sense for people to buy lots that extend all the way back to the tracks. Maybe one of these guys... Oh, that's not the tracks. Right. I totally forgot. Uh, all the way back to the highway, then. That makes more sense to me, I guess. This guy's fence totally extends into the dirt, though. We'll just pretend that what he did was he just built smaller poles and smaller poles. Oh, crap. Built that the wrong way around. Alright, so line it up like this. Plink. There we go. Towards the back of everyone's yard, it's going to get really grassy and tree-y. Uh, you know, all the people that face the highway. Except for maybe this guy, because he's really close to the highway. I never heard of anybody having a swing set in their front yard, but I might do that. You know, maybe these guys don't have kids. Maybe it's just like a, you know, a pair of rich old people who just don't really care about anything anymore. They just got a big house by the highway, I guess. Some of these houses are old enough you can tell they were there before. I'm not sure this one is. It might just be a replica of an old house. Like this. This was there before. Let's just make sure it's not directly in the way of... Oh, yeah, it was. Great. Oh, you know what, though? You know what? I just realized something. Okay, let me add a piece of track to remind myself. So, one track would... It'll be lined up with that. and continue this way. And so that will be our connection to that. And also, just as a little sort of throwback, what I'll do is, let's say this street was never repaved. So, rails only, no, not three foot. This will make Milky happy. That was way too low. Alright, so let's uh, grab this height value and change it to like 602. Because the rails are sticking up a little bit. Okay, let's change it to 5.9 then. So that's. Yeah, I guess that works. Okay, so we've got, like, some remnants of street running. Or, you know what? No, let's move these over. Because there would be... Oh, you know, you know what? Uh, this track would have been the last one in service. So they were repaving it, and I can only assume, you know, somebody... Somebody's grandfather has... Although, no, it wouldn't have been that long ago. You know, somebody has pictures of a train running down this street. Uh, 
Uh, but just this section, because this section was the not repaved section. Yeah, and then this will lead into that. Because this would have gone straight and then curved and then led into this. Alright, sorry. It would have it would have curved and led into that. Like this this whole whatever. This bridge is actually way too old to be here. But I'm I'm leaving it. I think it looks okay the way it is. Okay, so what's next? So that that's another brainwave, that's how we're gonna sort this out. I do need to, whether it's like a double slip or not, I do need to connect this. What I think I'm just going to do is I'm just going to branch something off up here, move the interlocking tower back to maybe here, or the interlocking back to there. I just don't want to move something that I already made, it's a weird aversion. Whatever, it's not a big deal. Okay, what's next? You know, honestly, I could get away most of the time with just leaving the buildings like this. I don't want to. Because it seems, you know, it's so sparse and it just feels like... I mean, it doesn't feel like cheating, but it feels like, you know, skimping out. You know, it's a... No, it's not a cop-out. It's something else. It's just like I'm, I'm ignoring what I could be doing. So attach this over here, that over there, this over here. I'm not actually attaching anything, I just need to spread the grass. And I'll fill in any gaps I find, like so. Okay, apparently I can't get grass on that part. I should retexture it or something. And another spot that I just can't get grass on, I guess. Yeah, I'll just leave it like this. If it's just not going to cooperate, I'm not going to fight with it for ages, especially on something that's just basically a minutia at this point. It's just a tiny detail. I mean, this map's supposed to be, you know, tiny detail incarnate, but... I don't feel like fighting about it when there's so much tiny detail to do. Okay, so I need... Oh, I used this over here. I finally covered this over. Was that in an episode? I can't remember. Uh, I have done, you know, quite a bit of work off camera. But largely it's been... Oh, whoops, it's not supposed to be this guy's yard. Oh, wait, I was supposed to use... Yeah, whatever. Uh, you know, largely, it's either been some minutia somewhere, you know, some little detail, of course, or uh, it's been spreading of a very large detail. You know... Some smaller detail, which wasn't a major decision, was like going out and getting this bridge uh, for use there. Some, you know, big thing would be like increasing the forest. It's it's not something that's going to surprise you guys. Pretty much the whole map's going to be covered in this deciduous forest. This thick deciduous forest. So when the forest gets bigger, don't be alarmed. It's just natural progression. Oops, I always grab the wrong grabber. Wood fence. Well, that's descriptive. I mean, I would suppose it's not descriptive. It's, you know, it's exactly what it is. And it's facing the wrong way again. Wait, did I just make it face the wrong way again? Yeah, I did. I 
thought I did it one way and I had I done it the other way. This guy bought an irregular plot of land. Oh, but apparently he's sitting there on the porch. So that's that. And his wife. This is like the model that's in everything. Uh, that in everything in trains, I mean. I'm gonna put like a big tree in the back corner. In the larger corner. Tree. Not like a really big tree. Oh, so olives do grow on trees. American beech tree. That's ah, small. I want a big tree. Big leaf maple. Boom, there we go. It's actually not really what I wanted in terms of the tree. But, whatever. You can't always get. Oh, this guy's got a carport. This is going to be a bastard. I need to lower this house on the ground. That's way too much into the ground. Come on, up one more notch. There we go. That's fine. I'll just uh, flatten this a little bit. No. Too much. Uh, too much radius, too much sensitivity. I just want to... I just want to expose this guy's front walk a little bit. I'll leave that. There's a little sliver of grass, but everybody will be just fine. I'm going to take that deeper green and put it in this guy's backyard. Where'd it go? I want it. Let me grab it out of the forest. I... Yeah, I got it. Deep green, put it in this guy's backyard and cover the place with grass. And let's grab the super duper grass spline that I use in the woods. Got up. Also JVC. This map is not really good for upload of the DLS as it stands. Or at the very least it's not good for multiplayer yet. Because there are some things that are uh, that are still attached to obsolete assets in terms of what they use. So, and those obsolete assets are things that you can't just get. Uh, I've, I'll get around to submitting a support ticket about it at some point, and I wonder if it's something that can be worked on or amended or whatever. But, yeah, that's that's sort of where we're at. Uh, let me go grab the road. I always know where to get that road now. It's over there. This is sort of a duh, obviously, but the thing that just went through my head was, you know, the more we get done, the better it looks. And absolutely, you know, when we get done more sections, it's just like, wow, this place is looking really good now, isn't it? Uh, hmm. Okay, so I need to attach the driveways. Let's scan. It's going to not be like that one, so I need to attach... Another spline point there, grab this road, and then run it, nope, wrong way. Run it this way. Plus 
Come on, don't screw everything up. Whoa, talk about screwing everything up. That was not where that was supposed to go. Come on. Thank you, right? I think that is the best we're going to get. This, uh, this gap is way too large. But the fact of the matter is the driveway is going to be at a weird angle. I don't want the telegraph. Uh, the driveway is going to be at, the, at a weird angle, so what I can do is this. You know, having having it that way is not necessarily a bad thing, considering the fact that the driveway is at a weird angle. Alright, let's punch this in at 6.5. Still too high. 6.4. There we go. Okay, apparently that is too high for this. Let's just do six. Hey. Do six. Didn't move, did it? Nope. There. Okay. That, that, it's got a kind of a weird driveway, but whatever. We'll just place like a row of something. Where'd I, where'd I get that, that triple shrub thing? Oh, right here. Yeah. I think I did this on camera. Maybe. Let's, let's do this giant row of shrubs here. To separate these two. Although I should do this the other way. That doesn't help. There we go. Now we've got some serious push. Uh, let me put some, you know, topiaries back here, or, you know, those smaller trees. How about the American beach? What? Oh. Let's see. Whoa. Okay, did I click on number two last time? Yeah, number two's the little guy. These guys look like they have a patio. Maybe even a hot tub, but I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. Hot tub. Damn it. This is probably one of the DLS. Let's get a patio. Where's my patio material? No, wrong button. Click. Alright, patio. I think it looks nice. Alright, these guys don't have kids. I'm gonna say that right now. These guys don't have kids. They don't have anything except a well-groomed and manicured lawn. So, that's basically all this is gonna be. And I will add a shed back here, though. These guys share their stuff. Shed. Yeah, little little masonry shed. Uh, maybe I should put a pool back here. Let's uh, let's grab the pool. Swimming pool. How about this one, swimming pool. Oh, this is the giant one, isn't it? Bam! Yeah. The hell is that noise? 
Oh, was that a sound from this? No. Pull cool back here. And I'll put a little playground in here as well. Because why not? These guys these guys love their kids. Oh, you know what? The thing every kid wishes they had. Look at that. Into the pool. It's a little bit weird, but it's going to stay like that. Hmm, what else should I put? I'm gonna add like a little uh, maintenance road that goes this way. And then probably just a maintenance shack back there. So what I'll do is I'm gonna actually add a chain link fence. Chain link fence, four foot rusty, why not? These guys love their kids, but there's just a ch rusty chain link fence that goes through the backyard. What's wrong with something a little incongruous, eh? Okay, that's not right, though. Because that's sort of going up the hill. There. Right, so, I am going to... Extend this. And then we're gonna put a little row of trees on the on this tree, acacia tree. Yeah, why not? No, those would die here. Uh, American beech. Yeah, we already have one of those over here. Let's um, let's grab some big birch tree. Oh, that's not a big birch tree at all. Bohol maple. Yeah, put that like there. And then Bradford pear tree and a partridge in it. Broadleaf 01. Boom. Now that's a backyard tree. Now these little brats, they've got all the things in the world, but they whine and whine about not to get a tree house. And the dad is like, look at all the crap I gave you. You don't need it. What the hell? That's a tiny tree. You don't need a tree house. And then he beats him with jumper cables. Alright, anyways. Uh, no, 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 no. Conifer trees? Crepe, crepe myrtle. What? Dead. Dead tree. Uh, Eastern red cedar. Let's put some cedar trees back here. We have a little grove of cedar trees. This is, you know, the property value. All the cedar trees are dead. Okay. Uh, not eucalyptus. Or not eucalypt. How about, hmm, let's see, Ooh, throw a couple live oak trees down. Oh yeah, these are the little guys. And that's an even littler guy. Alright, let's grab like a red oak tree. What are you? You're a mega birch tree. Maple dark. Yeah, sure. Dark maple tree. Right next to the live oak. And then red maple tree. And let's sprinkle down some... Uh, some grass and shrubs down, like, underneath these.
Oh, okay. We got these by accident. I meant to get the shrubs. But whatever. These are fine. So, we're going to connect these guys up. Or we're going to just sprinkle these down at the bottom. I mean... Just to separate, like, the play area of the yard from the area that defines the edge of the yard. Because on the other side, there's, like, probably a pipeline running underneath or something. Because... I don't know, there's a weird maintenance shed at the end. Let's get another shed. Here, this will go up here. And that'll go down there. And this will just be like collecting traffic data or something. There'll be a mechanical thing where, uh, you know, the cars run over those bits of pneumatic tubing. And it goes, boop, and, you know, it, uh, it records each car. That's what that's for. Uh, Alright, so let's just sort of run this this way, and also we're going to want to sink it into the ground a little bit. Yep, it's actually not bad. Come on, sink. I'm trying to be really careful with this, because I don't want to send it down too much. Oh, that was way too much. Alright, there we go. And let's kill all the grass around here. Where's my dead grass? There you are. These guys are like, my house is so nice and I'm going to live next to this crap. Alright, and that's like all of the buildings here that are taken care of. Although having a nice little line of, not even necessarily topiaries, but, uh, just, oh, whoops, that's a spline. What are the little guys? Uh, we had uh, we have some small birch trees. This is another little birch grove. Hold on, we're gonna have like mega birch, like tree god in the middle here. Uh, birch four. Okay. Oh, no, not birch four. I want birch one or birch two, I think. Come on! There we go, big birch. It's so, like all these little birch trees are on the back, and then giant, one giant mega birch. Oops, these are all birch two, aren't they? Or are they birch three? Can't tell. Either way, let's uh, let's add some shrubbery underneath them. So here, yeah, if an area just looks like open, that's that's the signal to go ahead and put something there. To me, I want I want all this detail and stuff like that. It looks good. I've seen pictures of these neighborhoods that were like everybody has a pool, and it's crazy. Right, so we finished a half a block. We're going to start putting houses in all these other ones. Hmm. 
Yeah, what else? So we should connect these. We should connect the texturing on these two. That's going to be my goal right now. So connect these bits of texture. And so we'll make the radius a little bit larger now that we have a little bit more light width. And then we're going to add some other textures there, but keep the dirt underneath the track. You know, any open area that we find, we're going to fill it with trees. It's like, at least we're going to fill it with grass, we're probably going to fill it with trees. Or unless we, unless, you know, unless we find something else that jumps out at us and we think, oh, that should go there. I'm saying we because you guys definitely, you know, you guys definitely have input. I do still think I'm going to put that park in, not necessarily where, you know, not necessarily block C, because block C is kind of dead, but I will put it in somewhere because I like, you know, I like having that. So I think I might have something in one of these smaller blocks, maybe, maybe down this way. Although this is going to be a lot of beach. Hmm. Oh, I do need to connect that. Because we're going to have the, the coast road. Which might just branch off here. And I might need, uh, I might actually need to cross this road like that. Uh, that's what I might be coming to. I might actually terminate the coast road. Yeah, I'll leave this like this. Maybe I'll send, maybe I'll have some roads loop around back here. But this is going to head this way. This is going to head this way and probably cross at some point. I don't know. We'll, we'll blow up that bridge when we come to it. Anyways, finishing with the texturing. And we'll throw down some more houses. I like how at the beginning I said, oh, I'm going to go work on this, uh, this area, you know, the, uh, the thingy. Down there, why is the scale so high? And I, I basically placed down the forest green called it a day. Like, I don't really know what I'm going to do with that area yet. I don't know if I'm going to do more with it, or if I'm going to sort of just leave it as it is. And then surround it with trees. Obviously, that's the, that's the real bastard. The problem is, you know... Playing with the trees is inviting more crashes, and thus you create a loss of work just by, you know, trying to do work. So while increasing the size of the forest is honestly one of my favorite things to do, A, because the forest in and of itself is just stupid. It's, it's huge and complicated, and it's a, you know... I mean, it's not really a computer killer, because... It'll only mess with you if you mess with it. Like, I have played around with this map for hours. Like, you see me make these videos. And stuff. I've never had a crash in a video because I don't work on the forest in the videos. Uh, like, but aside from that, you know, it's, it's sort of a point of... I would say it's pride, but it's not really pride. And it's not something I should be prideful of, that I have this obnoxious thing that keeps crashing my game. But... By the same token, it's just something that's kind of nuts. It's, you know, you know, I legitimately get asked, why are you doing this? And my answer is, I don't know, because it looks better than splines. And arguably, you know, at least on certain computers, this one included, it runs better than splines. If I had that whole area splined, uh, especially the way I like to do the splines, you know, looking at it, dealing with it would be painful. 
having a lot of splines in one place is not great. And that's already the case around the towns like this. Oh, well, I need to close that gap there. Close this gap there. Yeah, especially when I'm doing grass. Because originally, like I said, my intention was to have the entire base of the ground there underneath the forest of death covered in grass splines. And that, that would have been a killer. Because then you have to deal with both of them. You don't get the you don't get the sort of saving grace of not having to deal with splines because everything's speed trees, because everything is splines too. There's, you know, you have all the speed trees on top of all the splines. And I did do that in parts of the Iron Horseman Grab. Uh, well, no, I didn't do that specifically, but I do have areas that are predominantly, or, you know, that are legitimately covered in splines. Uh, like the summit of the Old Main area. Oh yeah, this area is... These two pieces are actually connected for the first time ever. So we're going to continue with this. And then I am going to drink a lot of water. So... Oh, you know what, though? We're getting on an embankment, so I need to use the embankment texture on the edges. There. This area should basically have this black this coal ground cover as as ground because this is a coal state it bugs out a little bit but it's a it's a decent looking coal state found on the DLS it's quote unquote abandoned it's not abandoned it is the unabandoned version of the abandoned coal state uh, you know a bonus version made by the creator of it because Somebody wanted to actually be able to use it after he created this abandoned coal state. And we'll have to sprinkle some... We'll have to sprinkle some, uh... Piles of coal around there to make it worthwhile, and also probably some dump trucks. And back here we have this. I already worked on that. Uh, back here we should have some sort of... Maybe like this. I'm intending to put a junkyard back here. So this is actually not a bad texture for that. You know, like a, like a steel scrapper or whatever. Or maybe something that was that previously. And this is more parking in rear. Bow -bow -bow. Uh, these these places get a lot of their deliveries by truck now. Because this rail this section of the rail line is inactive. You know, past that crossing, nobody gets served past that crossing. So the important thing to me is just getting everything sort of copacetic. You know, there's a lot of areas that we have to work on, but finishing the areas that we're already on is more important to me than than trying just to get rid of all the gray space with something. You know, obviously that's different when I'm talking about the giant forest, because it's pretty easy just to slap down more forest, weather the crashes, you know, and then clean up your mess. Because when you, when you slam down a giant chunk of forest, you're left with uh, well, whatever you covered up, covered in trees. Which, that's something that I deal with every single time. And it's the only thing that makes me hesitate for spreading the forest sometimes. Other than that, I'd just be dumping it all over the place like mad. If I could, if I could cordon off areas where that wouldn't happen, <coughs> then, <clears throat> then I wouldn't worry about it so much. Okay. These two pieces are getting connected. Let's turn off the gradients. 
Whoops, I just made two dots. Uh, gradients, 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 gradients. There. Let's even... Can we turn off tracks? Yeah, we're getting there. I mean, this area... This area is mostly done except for this. In terms of texture. Basically, an idea of how complete something is, you can just look at the map. Because unless unless you're <clears throat> just texturing and not actually working, then you're not doing very much. Texturing is generally the last thing you get done. Or at least that's what I can recommend. Because... Or, you know, it's the it's the last thing you do before finishing touches. Because once your ground covers down, you can't use the grid anymore. And it's just like, well, that's kind of it. You know, it's it's your it's your ground cover, it's what's on the ground. We've got some bushes on the track. We got some bushes sticking up through the bridge. Nobody cares about that piece of sidewalk anyways. Okay, so over here. Oh, and I missed a spot with the texture. And texture often defines what you're going to put on top of it, but <clears throat> it's not too, too often that you go around and you place the texture and then you say, well, I'll come back to this. Uh, the only exceptions to this, on this map at least, other than like right here where I, you know, set it up that, yeah, I'm going to do that. And although these areas are just going to have some scenery on them, it's like right, you know, over here. Where building more of the forest is going to be an endeavor and I'd like to do it one solid chunk at a time. And those small bits are not enough for to be one solid chunk for me. I should have filled my water before starting this video. I should do that every time. I don't think about it. And then I end up running out of voice. Okay, so... Yeah, this, this area, this grass... I do want to go and work on, like... In a previous version, I started to build a scenario, because I just wanted to drive around. And it's not done by any means, but if I were to release anything, that's what I would be releasing right now. I'm not planning on it. But the reason I, I rushed and did those multiple industries when I did, is because I wanted to make the route runnable. And once I'd done that, it was like, alright, let's run it. Now we've got this. Uh, let me name this while I'm here, though. That's something else. Let's do... Oh, I hit F12. Uh, 